sign off. No way. I'll chill again and come up. Grand rising, guys. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically what you're actually supposed to say in the morning. Because, I mean, we're not morning. And that kind of sets your tone for the day. So, yeah. You could say royal rising, good rising. Because, I mean, we are waking up. We're not morning. So, yeah, there's a little tad bit on that. But in today's video, it's a topic I already wanted to discuss. And it's the importance of self-love. And what I mean by that is how important it really is to take care of yourself to be able to take care of others, if that makes sense. So basically, you can't take care of people if you don't know how to take care of yourself. And that applies to everything else. Basically, the answer for everything is just to go inwards. Like, whether it be finances or anything like that, just meditate, go inwards. Know thyself. <laughs> okay, and yeah. But for some people, I know that could sound a bit weird, like, what does meditating have to do with me not having no money? Well, abundance. Like, <laughs> when you feel like your finances are lacking, it's that you're coming from a place of lack. So anytime that you feel like you're lacking in something, you need to go inwards because that's when you feel abundant and you start to notice different forms of abundance like abundance isn't just a lot of money it could be a lot of food um all the stuff that you have like i have an abundance of paintings that i create so it's not just like even material things it could be happiness and the abundance of love that you receive from your family and stuff like that so if anything is lacking, I would say to meditate. You could do, if you don't know how to do that, you could do a guided meditation based on like abundance or love or whatever else you're trying to get. So tips for self-love. Do things that you love, eat things that you love. But um, for the food part, I would definitely say make sure it's like healthier things. Like me, myself, I'm... Ooh, voice crack. I'm vegan, so yeah. <laughs> like I eat stuff that I like, but they're also good for me, also um, helping started. me. Don't get me wrong, though. I do have my moments where I'm just into all the vegan junk food and I'm eating all this stuff. And then uh, I'm like, oh man, I was really going hard on that. Cause I don't know, I've always had a thing for snacks. So yeah. So just doing the things you love, like me personally, I I love water. Like I've been taking lots and lots of baths since I was little. Like I would be in there for like two, three hours. And yeah, that's like my way of getting through anything because water itself is very like clearing and good for us. So like say, I will take a bath when I'm sad. I'll take a bath when I'm happy. It does not matter the mood, I'm just always in the tub. And when I get out the tub, if I'm feeling a bit sad, it feels like it helped me. Like I feel better when I get out, especially cause I'll add like Epsom salts and different oils that just smell good and they're really beneficial for us. Um, or like I'll add Himalayan pink salt and you know that draws out the negativities or whatever is attached to you in the day if you're like interacting with people that don't have the best vibrations. So yeah, that's my way of kind of taking it off of me. And then something I recently started doing was adding Florida water. Oh my goodness. If you don't know about Florida water, it has, it's like liquid sage. If you don't know what sage is, sage clears out the air, the negativities and impurities, all that crap. So like, say you just had an argument with like a family member or something, or there's just tension in the house in general, you could do that to clear out the air, but make sure you open your windows. Otherwise it's kind of like that negativity is still circulating in there because you didn't let it out. But self-love, 
It could be for you maybe doing your nails, getting your nails done, doing your hair, whatever, makeup, whatever you feel like you like doing. I like to express myself through paintings. I like to do like funky art, um, makeup looks and clothes. Like that's so fun to me. And you know, piercing as you could tell. It all started. <laughs> and yeah, that's a form of self love right there. Another form you could do, if you're not really sure of how to get started on it, is maybe working with crystals. Like, rose quartz right here is good for attracting love, not only for yourself, but maybe if you're wanting a partner or whatever kind of relationship, you should work with some rose quartz. It also, you know, helps build up your self-confidence and how you treat yourself. Because think of it this way, if you're negative towards yourself and we're all connected, then you're not gonna know how to be positive to someone else you love because you don't even know how to love yourself. So to, if this is a new concept, it's confusing, but basically if you connect with yourself, you connect with everyone around you because on an energetic level, we are all one. So when you're connecting with yourself, it's like you're connecting with others. So, yeah. Or another form could be like fitness. Maybe your body isn't where you want it to be or whatever. You could do some yoga, do some exercises or do both, you know, just doing things that are beneficial for your body. Another form of self-love, it would also be self-discipline. So like, I like, like I said, I have a thing for eating snacks. Like I would go ham on vegan snacks. So a way to kind of reel that in, I've kind of been more like disciplined on what I eat. Like instead of having like a bag of kettle chips, why not have some, some pineapple or something? Cause I don't know about you, but that is delicious. Real hopped up, go pick you a fruit. Eat it right off the tree. Hey man. Delicious. Or, I don't know, cut up some sweet potatoes and bake them in the oven without oil. Or if you like oil, whatever. I eat lots of oil, so. But yeah, that's another thing. If you are showing like self-discipline toward yourself, like you know something is better for you, even though in the moment you feel like you don't wanna started. do that, but you decide to do that anyway, that's great, that's good. That means you're making the steps to help yourself because especially nowadays, we are too addicted to instant gratification. So like, I love me some vegan ice cream. Instead of eating some fruit or deciding to just have some kombucha because I know I'm really not hungry, I just want to be a little greedy thing and munch on everything. But instead of that, you know, the ice cream, it's an instant, as soon as you put it in your mouth, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. So instead of doing that, instead of, instead of eating that, to make the choice to be like, hey, I'm gonna have some fruit and kombucha and call it a day on that. That's great because you're realizing that um, happiness or that state of, uh, I don't know how to explain it. That state of just feeling good about yourself feels even better because you took the time to build up to that instead of just instantly eating something and feeling good about it and then later on feeling like crap because you ate it. So I would say, yeah, for me that is, I decided I want to do yoga every day. Like I've always, I've done yoga in and out of it, but I'd rather stop falling in and out of going weeks doing it, going in weeks of doing it, not doing it. I'd rather trying to stay consistent, at least doing it once a day. And then another form of my self love would be meditating for at least 20 minutes a day. Now meditation, that's, that's great. It clears your mind and all that crap you had in it from the day, whether you do it in the middle of the day or that's the way you're starting up your day. That's another thing. If you're meditating in the morning, it's setting a good, it's setting you to be good in the day, basically. Your mind is clear, you're calm, you're not overreactive to things because 
you're good. <laughs> and then, so yeah, it's whatever basically you would like to do, but also with a with a hint of self-discipline in it. I've been learning more to build it up more, so I'm trying not to be so much into my vegan junk because I, I am pretty healthy. Like, I only drink water, teas, kombucha, natural juices, so yeah. I don't, I gave up soda like a year ago and I've been vegan for a year and a half, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling great. I'm still on it. And yeah, that's my form of self-love. Another form of it would be sharing with, with others. So if you're making something healthy, like uh, my family, I, I like to cook and it's fun to me. So sharing that food with my family because they're very intrigued by it because I'm basically the only one doing this. And they say what I create is pretty good. And I've been influencing my mom to get more into it because she did have her moment in time where she didn't really eat meat. But now she sees what I'm creating and what I'm making. And she says she feels so good when she eats it. Like she doesn't feel as heavy eating a vegan burger rather than an actual burger. Like you feel way down and like, oh, I wanna go to sleep. Like <laughs> you should not feel that way after eating. So basically she feels really good doing it. And other forms of self love that I feel like are so key also is making boundaries. So maybe you got some, some friends or some family, they don't have the best energy if you notice how they make you feel, you could either distance yourself from them, like try not to be around them as much, or also communicating. You could communicate with them like, hey, like you're, you're doing too much, you need to relax. But obviously some people's family members or friends are very combative in a way, and that might not be the best light, and it might just be better to just distance yourself. Alone time also is pretty key because you're getting thoughts and ideas of things just because you're just by yourself. Like no one else is there talking your ear off or whatever, just talking in general. So not as many ideas come in. Like I feel like when I'm hanging out with friends, like I don't really get as much as the, uh, as much ideas as if as <laughs> when I'm alone. I spend a lot of time alone, honestly. Like, I kind of, me myself, personally, distance myself from everyone because I noticed what they were doing or what they're into. But you don't want to, like, I don't know how to explain it. If they think you're being mean about it, honestly, people take things too personally. <laughs> honestly. Like, cause I know if you have those toxic friends and you tell them, oh, I don't really want to hang out as much. I'm trying to figure myself out. They're going to be like, oh, what did I do? What did I do? Instead of seeing it as like, you are bettering yourself. So if you do have those type of friends, it's honestly probably just better to just stop talking to them all together. And another thing about spending time alone you feel like if you're feeling dependent on people for attention and affection and you don't even notice it, like even in relationships, you're going from relationship, relationship to relationship, and you're not really taking these moments to rest and be by yourself, that's probably a sign that you're, you're subconsciously maybe afraid to be alone. So if you don't spend that much time alone, I'd say spend more time alone. It's really good, it's really wholesome because you don't feel like, I don't know, for me, I just love it because there, there's no one there bugging you, there's no one there aggravating you. Just, I don't know, it's just, it just feels good to me. And yeah, or another form of self-love that I'm doing right now is fasting. Kind of taking a break from all that <laughs> own junk foods I've been putting in there. And what it basically does, and it kind of resets your body because your cells have a moment in time to, you know, revitalize themselves, turn over new cells, 
get rid of all those old like dusty ones and obviously clearing out clearing out your stomach clearing out your gut so yeah and yeah you just feel pretty pretty clean doing it it all started and you don't necessarily have to fast for days on end it could even be saying like okay i'm not gonna eat past 8 p.m so you set up these certain times in the day where you eat and all this so so just the self-love in general is all about going within yourself spending time with yourself getting to know like from past traumas or anything that bothers you like even if you don't know subconsciously if you're spending the time meditating over and over and over being consistent with it eventually you will figure out what they are like even notice in those irritating situations maybe if a family member is like nitpicking at you or something instead of just instantly reacting kind of take a deep breath and notice how it makes you feel like if it makes you feel instantly aggravated like oh you could look why am i aggravated why am i letting this get to me because in reality we control our emotions it might not seem like that to some people like you would be like oh what do you mean like someone said something stupid how am i not gonna get mad i'm not saying to ignore our emotions but like if you're mad kind of kind of self-reflect on that instead of instantly reacting to it kind of look at it from as if you're in a different perspective like so say they said something that makes you mad and you're mad <laughs> try to get out of your head about it and kind of look at it from a third person's perspective and it sounds pretty weird if you've never done it before but it, it helps so much like that can also help de-escalate the situation like say you guys are getting heated they're yelling at you you don't have to yell back you don't have to react like you can get your point out by still being calm and collected but obviously when you're first starting that's definitely easier said than done because i feel like nobody gets underneath my skin like family and you also have to learn to interact differently with them because you have to understand that um that's just their started. reality that's what they experienced in themselves so how you can look at this is if you blame yourself for a lot of things or the way that people interact with you you need to realize that is a reflection of what's going on inside of them like say for example you're getting bullied by someone at school obviously it's not something that you did it's a reflection of what's going on in them so maybe someone at home is being mean to them or they're just not feeling accepted so they're feeling like they need to project that onto someone else to make themselves feel better so you have to understand that it's not personal and even if they if your family is nitpicking that's their way of showing their love to you it's a very complex um thing because i experienced that even for me like when i was younger growing up being different like i mean nobody else got stretched ears and piercings really in my family like so and then the way i express myself in like art and fashion like it's different i'm more alternative if that's a term you want to put on there honestly i feel like I know I couldn't explain my style because from one day I could be wearing overalls, the next I'm in my chunky platform shoes, so whatever. But we're just gonna use that term. So they've been a little bit nitpicky at it, like kind of weirded out by it. Like I remember years ago, my aunt told me my hair looked like sewer water because I had dyed it like this shade of green and she said it looked like sewer water. And that like instantly like pissed me the hell off but now that i look at it i don't know because your family think they know or think they want what's best for you and they don't realize the way that they're saying things are actually really hurtful but then again i don't really know how you wouldn't know that it would it's hurtful to tell 
your freaking niece, their hair looks like sewer water. Like, that's so rude. But, um, I know she still means the best for me. Like, she still tells me she loves me and that she cares for me. So I just know that it, what they experience in their reality is how they interact with you. Not only you, but other people and themselves. Like, they don't really mean to say it the way that they're saying it, but they're trying to come from a loving standpoint at the same time. And another way that I look at it now is maybe don't take it as serious. Like when she said that, I should have laughed. Like, I don't care because I like it and that's all that matters. That's another thing for setting boundaries. Do not do things or interact with people because you're thinking, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna like me more if I'm like this or like that. No, either these people accept you the way you are as, or they don't and you just need to get rid of them because that doesn't make any sense. Why would you need to alter the way that you are, whether that's appearance, uh, blah, appearance or whatever to feel more accepted? You just need to accept yourself and then what you're doing in the inwards will project to the outwards. So you'll start attracting more friends that appreciate you for you and they're not trying to come along and just change this. Oh, you need to do that, this, that. They're doing, they're doing work upstairs. <laughs> but um, yeah, even like loving partners, like if you care for yourself, if you love yourself full heartedly on the inside, then you're gonna attract the same type of person because the way you can look at it is your friends or your partner is a mirror of what's going on inside of you. So if you have a bunch of friends that are insecure and you yourself aren't secure in your body, that's a reflection. So yeah. You also have to realize if you're like, oh, I've been being positive for weeks upon weeks and things still aren't turning up, you also have to realize that your past way of thinking is what manifested or created the thoughts and the situation that you are currently in. So if you went through a few span of years feeling hopeless, feeling down about yourself, feeling insecure about yourself, then it's still gonna be translating into now because you spent majority of your time being negative that the positive thoughts haven't had a a way of coming up yet because you still have to go through all the thoughts that you have before so a way that to like counterize that is counterize i'm making up my own words a way to counteract that would be you know be like okay this is happening right now but that's okay and just understand why it's happening so basically your thinking patterns in the past now you can be like okay i don't want this to happen again or for me to feel this way anymore so i need to shape up my thoughts so okay maybe your body isn't looking the best that it is and then you'll work out or whatever here and there and then you kind of give up on it because you're lazy you need to figure out what to do whether that's eating healthier like if you're still eating meat and dairy that could be you know incorporating more plant-based foods like if you're not used to that then i would say take it slow we got a lot of uh transitional vegan food so like for me the spicy vegan chicken nuggets are so good and that was one of the things that i ate when i was transitioning and i didn't i didn't miss meat at all like it just felt good and because i've always been like healthy in my eating like my mom said when I was little, I would go in and out of months where I wouldn't eat meat. And she was scared because she didn't, you know, she's a regular meat eater. So she thought I was going to have to be taking all these vitamins and all this. When in reality, it's probably better. <laughs> and if you want me to do a video on why being plant-based is better for you, then okay. <laughs> or just any of the topics that i talked about in today's video you can put it down below if you want me to go into more depth about it or maybe like a meditation video yoga video whatever or just more ways you could love yourself more
so that's the end of this video and basically to it all started. get closer to yourself you need to interact with yourself as if you were an outer person so like think about the last time when's the last time you told yourself that you loved yourself that could be standing in the mirror and you could just be like i love you like it's weird but you feel i instantly feel like my body reacts when i'm doing these positive things towards myself or you could be you could realize maybe if you just went through something hard you can be like i'm so strong like it's really good that I was able to still keep it together even though I was upset. Like realizing how strong you actually are and giving yourself credit basically. So loving yourself, meditating, go inwards, asking yourself questions you never asked yourself before. Like when was the last time you told yourself I love you or doing things for yourself that you know will better you in the long run and not just in the now like for fa fasting for instance like I am not doing this to lose weight shrink down because I noticed like those videos are really popular on like YouTube and stuff because people want instant gratification or those diet teas and all that other shit you don't need to do that you already know what to do but you don't want to do it because you actually have to be consistent with it. Like you're searching up all these ways. How can I detox my body? How can I detox my body? So I will shrink down more. And it's as simple as drinking some damn lemon water, but you don't want that because it's not gonna show instant results. But you have to realize like all this stuff that shows instant results usually isn't gonna last long. Like, you could fast, do a water fast, and be like, ooh, I'm getting all small, I'm getting all small. But it's, in reality, it's just water if you're not doing it for long. And if you, even if you are, like, if you go right back to binge eating and doing all that other stuff that you weren't supposed to be doing to begin with, then all that weight is instantly gonna just go right back into your body. So, the way you have to come at these things is you need to be consistent, disciplined, and motivated, basically. And yeah, those are ways that you can show yourself, that show yourself self-love. And I'm happy to be finally doing these type of topics now because I've been wanting to do them for a while. And I don't know, now I was just like, okay, I'm going to do it. So... Yeah, that's something for today's video. I love you. I love myself. And <laughs> yeah, see you later. And another thing, if you actually take like my words into consideration and you try them out for a little bit, please tell me in the comments like how it affected you. Like, did you feel better doing it? and all that. I just want to know how you're feeling in the comments so we can talk about it and kind of see what we can do to better ourselves as a community, not just alone. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.